Hi, this is uh, my latest piece. It's called uh, Judas, Can You Hear Me? It's an epistolary poem, uh, and uh, it's just uh, a form that I wanted to kind of try out and experiment with when I, when I made this. It's called Judas, Can You Hear Me? Hey, kid. I wonder what I would say to you if you stood before me now. I sit in the nave. The dust moat rides a beam of sunlight from atop Noah's Ark through rainbow colors down to the pew in front of me. The wood, varnished with the palm sweat of a thousand Tennessee summer mornings, mutes the light. My breath echoes in the still air, and I think of your last moments. Your face turns purple as you gasp for your last breath. A fire engine wails a few streets over. I return to the light-kissed space and ponder the questions that creep into my thoughts, most of them about you. Was it guilt, like Judas felt with his 30 silver coins? not cinching your throat while you tie your belt around your neck? Was it simply the doubt plaguing your mind? Or did you feel it all? Do you now languish in torment beside him in the devil's mouth? Does that fade away at all who chooses as you did? What of those who leapt from the towers rather than perish in their flames moments before they collapsed? I can ask these things until my own light fades, and I will never hear your answer, because silence is now the language you speak. My knees throb in protest from sp spending so much time on the kneeler. Still other questions spring to mind. These are not my own, but I had to answer them still. They came from the ones whose lives you touched. Most of them you might expect, like, what could I have done? What can I do now? Did I say the wrong thing to him in the hall the other day? Or, he didn't believe like we do, so what does that mean for him? Each question sticks like a nail holding shut the door between me and you. Out of the narthex, footsteps echo. The light coming into the nave from the dormers is gone, and the light through the stained glass is fading. Soon comes sunset. The door between me and you bears words carved on its surface. They are words about how I chose what you did not. They are words about how being alone is the real hell. They are words about how pain does not change you, but suffering with others can. That can shape you. They are words about how nature tends towards chaos, decay, and death, and that life, creation, and structure are truly what make you a rebel. They are words that describe an inner peace you never knew. It's just as well that they are written on a side of the door that you will never read. Twitter accounts, prom dates, what happened on The Bachelor, gasoline prices, weather, what's for dinner. Soon enough, these things will distract the ones you left from their grief. The business of life demands it. As for me, I will be left with my questions that have no answers. What's your favorite color, or what colors are you applying to? What would be what I would ask you if you were still here? But now, was it worth it? And I can only ask the stone that tells the ages your name, the dates of your birth and death, and where you now lie. Hunger twists my gut into a knot, and once again I am wrenched to the present. The sun has set, and the sanctuary light is the sole source of light in this place. I have no questions for it, but I ask of it anyway. Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. Thank you. Veterans Coming Home is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by members of Nashville Public Television.